Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 40 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about UDFs in PySpark. That means user defined functions in PySpark. So what is UDF? Why do we need it? How to create it and use it? All these aspects we are going to discuss in this video. So firstly, what is UDF? UDF stands for user defined functions. So, in simple words, let's say you have some logic, you have some logic, that logic you can write it as a Python function and that function you can register with some function name actually. So, once you register with, a, with some function name, you can use that function name as if you, you are using a built-in functions. So, for example, in our past videos, we used upper function, right? So, which is built in available inside the PySpark library to use that function directly and that function will perform some logic and convert the column names or our column data into uppercase, right? So, here for this upper function, we are not writing a logic, right? Someone already written and it is available as a function to you to use it to perform that transformation. Similarly, some kind of transformation the custom transformation according to your business need if you want to use it as a function then you create a function that means python function with that logic and you can register that using this udf actually so if you know sql it is similar to functions in sql in sql also we can create functions and we can store them in database as an object and then that functions you can use while you are querying the data right so if you don't know what is functions in sql try to search in youtube there are so many videos once you watch that you will make a more sense even if you don't watch that is fine when i practically show you you will make more sense of it so let me practically explain you this with some use case here so let's go to browser this is my data bricks workspace and here let's try to create a new notebook and let me name it like udf notebook Python is a default language. This is my cluster. So once I hit create button, it creates a notebook for me. So let me close this pop up. And here, let's try to create one data frame quickly. So if you have seen my previous videos, you know how to create a data frame, right? So all the videos in this playlist are in sequence order. So please watch them in the same order you to get most out of this. So this is almost 40th video. Okay. So please watch before videos as well. So here I am creating a list of tuples. Every tuple here represents one row in data frame. So let's say second row is ID to WAFA, 4000 as a salary, and let's say 1000 is a bonus amount. So let's create another variable called schema and let's give column names for the data frame ID, name, then third column value is salary, then fourth column value is bonus. Okay, so finally spark dot create data frame function will help you to create a data frame okay so now finally let's try to use a show function on top of data frame to display this data frame in a tabular manner so once this cell executes when i hit the shift enter you can see command is running here once the command runs execute successfully then you can see this data frame practically here see we have id column name salary bonus we have totally two rows now let's assume i want to compute a new column called total pay which should be like sum of salary and bonus so that means i should be uh, performing addition of salary plus bonus so that is what i want to do and for this logic i want to create a function and register it as a udf function so that whenever i want to use this instead of writing the logic every time i will simply use that function so let me practically show you what i mean so till here our data frame creation is completed now here what i am doing i am defining a function called maybe total pay so let me close this pop up here so let's try to write a python code here in a command too so let me name my function name as like total pay to this function i am passing two variables maybe salary and bonus so i gave variable names as s and b and then it will simply return so in my case i am writing very simple function in practical in real time it can be n number of lines it can be a big code of logic to perform your transformations or business rules so this is my function in python which will take two variables 
and it will sum them and it will return back the value okay so once the function is ready you need to register it using the udf function so for that from pyspark dot sql dot functions module so there is something called udf so you have to import it and now using a help function let's try to see documentation of the udf function i hit the shift enter to execute this cell and i got the entire documentation and if you see here here you can see the examples as well you have to mention the function name what you created and you have to give a new name for that function and also you have to mention a return type of that function so for example this function i want to register it with maybe like this total payment okay so this is the function name with which i want to register so i will use that name as a variable name here then i am using a udf function to the udf function i have to use a lambda syntax uh, uh, that means inline function syntax so lambda syntax and here so there are two variables we are passing to the function so two variables you name it here if you are passing only one variable you name it only one variable here and then here after colon write your function name so my function name is total pay and to this total pay these two variables i have to supply so let me copy and paste it so this is how you will register it and when you are registering this function with this name you also need to mention what kind of data this function will return back so here this function i am expecting to return back integers take salary and bonus and return integer so what i will be doing i have to mention it here like return integer type so for that first i have to import the integer type from pyspark library so from pyspark dot sql dot types let me import integer function so integer type so there is something called integer type function sorry integer type function so that function i am using it here to to indicate that it's a integer okay integer type so this is your actual function name which you created and here you are giving a new name while you are registering it and here you are mentioning this function what type of data it returns that's what you are mentioning it here so with this if i execute by hitting shift enter our function will be registered so let's wait okay let me remove this help command firstly so we no need to see the documentation now so let me hit shift enter to execute this command command executed successfully that means now with this name a function is available for you in pyspark library you can directly start using it so what i will be doing my data frame has id column name column salary column and bonus let's add another column called total pay and in which i want to use this total payment function to compute the total payment so what i will be doing it here is data frame dot maybe with column function and i want to create a new column called total pay and here if you see i am using this total payment function name which i registered and to which i am passing from my data frame salary column and also i am passing my bonus column so this salary column will go and pass the value here and this column will go and pass the value here totally the sum will happen and it will return back so finally uh, let's try to use show function to show this data frame here so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell here and uh, once the command executes successfully you can see total pay computed successfully so what i did i used my logic in a python function and i registered using this udf function okay so not only this way you can register in another way as well so what you can do let me copy this entire code and let me paste it in another cell you can register this using the annotation also so you no need to register like this so let's remove this code here so right now here we have a function called total pay right so here itself you can register it using this udf function so if i go back to presentation if you see here using this annotation annotation means a declaration on top of your function so using this annotation by mentioning the return type you can directly register there also so let me practically show you this here so use at the rate udf annotation and to this there is a parameter called return type you can see it's a parameter 
so for this parameter i am mentioning integer type is my return type from the function so the same thing i mentioned in the slide also so now if i execute this is going to register the function with this name and then you can start using that function name directly so let me hit uh, shift enter to execute this command here so the registration completes now on top of data frame this time maybe let's use a select transformation let's try to select all the columns plus let's try to select this total pay column also and for this total pay column i am passing salary and also i am passing bonus and let me use a show function here and let me hit shift enter to execute this code so this command should work fine and you can see my total pay computed but total pay column name came like this star means all the columns from the data frame it came then this column so for this column if you want to give a alias name then use alias function to the alias functions maybe i will use a column name as total pay so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and you can see it successfully created a total pay column as well that means using this annotation we are able to register my function so not only that in our previous videos we said that we can create temporary views on top of data frame and then start using sql right so what i mean by that is let me copy this code and here let me go here so here we are creating a data frame now on top of data frame we can use this create or replace temporary view function to create a view called maybe emps so let me hit shift enter this will create a temporary table or view in the session then once it created let's switch to sql syntax using this magic command and here i can say select star from uh, directly emps so when i hit shift enter i can able to query the data frame very easily because of this view creation right so that means i am able to write a sql here in a in a spark in pyspark or in spark actually i can write a sql here so now what if this function whatever i am using i want to register it so that i can use it as a sql also i mean in between of this syntax i should be able to use so maybe like this so maybe i should be able to like total pay then take the salary column then take the bonus column and pass it into this function to compute the total something like that so is that possible yes even that is possible so to do that what you have to do is you have to register using this uh, uh, pyspark uh, sorry spark dot udf dot register function if you see here once the temporary view created once the function created we are registering it using spark dot udf dot register and we are giving the name to that function what name we want to register and what is the actual function name and what is the return type of it so let me practically show you this so what i will be doing it here is so let me copy this function name so let's assume this is my function name okay so let me paste and then what i want to do is i want to register this function so spark dot udf dot register to the register function firstly there is something called a name parameter so here you have to define a uh, name for your function maybe total pay sql that is a function name i want to give and then there is which function you are actually registering this function so let's take that and then finally what is the return type of that function so that function will return integer type so when i hit shift enter it will actually register a function with this name now this name i can use in my sql code directly so let me go to sql code using this new command and magic command called percentage sql and here i will write like select maybe id comma name and then i am using this total pay sql function to this function i am passing my salary column and bonus columns from from emp's table so let me hit shift enter to execute this command now if you see i am able to compute this total pay using this function also so let's use a alias name here as maybe tot pay so let me hit shift enter to execute this command see i am able to execute it so that means we can write our own functions and register in the pyspark using this udf functions using this user defined functions and use them in our sql code or in our pyspark code so i hope you got it 
If not, watch this video multiple times to get a more idea. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.